Hey guys, Matt Moore, well it's Caneforge here, we're from uh, Caneforge Gaming, <clears throat> we're going to do normal, yeah, it looks good, um, so, try to do a let's play on it earlier, and guess what, no sound. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the- Hey guys, this is called, uh... Okay, I'm playing. Outer World? So yeah, so, let's see what the game is all about. <laughs> Who's this guy? Phineas Vernon Wells. Phineas and Ferb. So Phineas grew up. He must have time traveled. He must the world became that way. Hundreds of One thousands of his sister ever got that squirrel out of her pants. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. This Okay, so it does this. It gives you up this... Specific stuff, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna be high. Dexterity is gonna be good. Intelligence is gonna be good. Perception. Charm. Take from there to make average. Perception. Still, let's make those two. No. Let's make this intelligent high. Alright, so let's go next. Uh, so we're gonna go with handgun. So we're gonna range bolt, my friend. And I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. So no discernible aptitude, which means as a con that sounds like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills, expanding humanity's reach by civilization cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without so this is where you pick if your determination, drinking effects, uh aptitude bonus, which is blocking. Sway, shock damage, engineering, dodge, non ray damage, food effects, inspiration, medical, and uh, let's, let's go. Maybe you can do something about this uh, lump in my neck. So let's do face. Do face. Okay, so we get to pick. Hmm. Let's go with that skin tone, kind of gonna be like that. His eye color, uh, kind of like that, or like his brow. So, I want to tilt down like that. 
we got a big mouth from it's not big so uh if you hear any thing in the background, our cat Luna, she, uh, Let's see, let's kind of go with, let's go ahead, let's see the hair color, that's dark, let's go that round with it, his eyebrow, I'm trying to do a unibrow, so. Hmm. Right there should be. Okay, that's features. You want to make a. Next, his name. His name is King Forge. Hmm. Look at that. Make it there. And then we hit it. Thanks. All right, so. Okay, so we're good. Let's hit next. Yes, I'm start game. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. I have sixty cannons. Let me. Not likely, bootleggers. Oh, Lord. Initiate skip jump. It's kind of not nice live. This is Terra 2 over the Angle Laboratory. Status Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down. Ah. Ah. ah, there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of sync space from host to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on out have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I pump your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. 
That's wild. Remember the hope zero D brew. The Holocon Observer. Volume 65, issue number one. Two bits. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. 60th anniversary. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Jackson, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I do all the colonists are coming on you. Oh. Ah. So this game reminds me a lot of Bioshock. A mixture of Fallout. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in Hoss name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. I have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Let's see what we got in there. Easy yeah, cool. now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Well, I guess this is how you learn how to use your. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Space is choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's Choice Policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. 
See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Anything else over here that I can take? Steel, shoes. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the This. <laughs> So let's see what the magic Alright, so the technical time is the dilation. So, due to the complications, stream, uh, steaming from being revived after the extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the technical time dilation um, button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as time to take action. You have a limited time to. Okay, so it's just like uh, Fallout. Okay, well, can do that. So, if I can't, uh, 
came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Go on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spaces Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You out of your mind? No way. Once we... I just, you know, need a couple of weeks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. Yeah. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. We did. Come here. You kill him. See what we got here. Uh, look at that.
All right, let's see what's going on with this ship. It's a big one. This game is pretty fun. It's, um... Uh, I've gotten used to, to, to games that are pretty decent. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Gesture to suggest initiated. Disagree to the airlines. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hmm. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Alright, so let's see. Some skills and movement. So it took me time. It says you've been promoted. Leveled up. Congratulations. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open up the character's ledger, ledger to advance your character. Okay, so let's do that. That's what I was doing. Uh, so this is skills. So let's... Give Malie some and my range. My defense needs it. Dialogue. Uh, stealth. Let's do some tag wear. Leadership. Let's do another tag. Tag can tag. I want it up because it's not, they're not. Uh, yeah, yeah. One it up, so I hit apply and hit accept. No, that on. No, that on. So, so now I need to perks. Okay, so this is Aunt Cleo's specialized management seminars. <laughs> this is Aunt Cleo. Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perk to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. Hmm. All right, let's see. No, I think I want my health up.
Well, it won't let me slide it down. Okay, so that. I guess you got to hit it like two or three times to, to get it to, to do right. So, so then we go to the journal on the power regulator. Okay, so we're good. All right, so let's check the ship out before we go. Yes, sir. sir, sir, sir. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Yourself. Yeah, this is the workbench. So this is just like Fallout. So. Mm. I don't have any. This one. Let's see. Now we need to go to. I did that. I already had the repair mode. So I want to put it. Yes. I need. Three. This one. E. Alright, so now I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I just want to double check and make sure everything is good and good. Alright, so let's see what's up here. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I just want to check up here and make sure I got get the feel for the ship. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our re-specification machine. What is this? Oh, no. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. So, let's see what the ship's on. Food. We got a kitchen stuff. To make sure. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. All right, guys, so let's see. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. I'll waive your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down at Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Kane Force saying peace and have a glorious day.